Today I will be demonstrating how to use an ABO blood type testing kit in order to determine an individual's blood group. The kit that we will be using is Synthetic Blood, Whose Baby Is It? by Carolina Biological Supply. In this kit, we're introduced to two mothers, Kim and Andrea, and they have just given birth at a, a local hospital. Kim birthed two babies where Andrea only birthed one, but Andrea believes that she was actually sent home with the wrong baby. So now we're going to work through this kit and determine who, who the baby actually belongs to. When you perform this lab, you will be testing a total of five blood samples. This includes blood from Andrea, Kim, and each of the three babies. However, for the purposes of today's demonstration, I'll only be testing two of these samples. This will help you to know what to expect when you perform this test yourself. So let's get started. In addition to the blood samples, you'll need a blue toothpick, a yellow toothpick, anti-serum A, anti-serum B, and a blood testing tray. I will start by placing one drop of the first blood sample in the well labeled A and one drop in the well labeled B. Next, I will place one drop of the anti-A serum into the well labeled A. And then one drop of the anti-B serum into the well labeled B. Next, I will stir the sample in well A with the blue toothpick. I'll stir it for about 30 seconds. And I'll do the same in well B with the yellow toothpick. Again, for about 30 seconds, making sure not to slosh any out or make a mess. Finally, I will observe the result. In this first sample, I see some clumping occurring in both well A and well B. This clumping is called agglutination. Blood that contains A antigens will agglutinate in the presence of the anti-A serum and blood containing B antigens will agglutinate in the presence of the anti-B serum. This agglutination lets us know that the sample is from someone whose blood is in the AB blood group. Let's test another one. Now we are following the exact same procedures as before. I will place one drop of the second blood sample into each well. Then I'll place a drop of the anti-A serum into well A and a drop of the anti-B serum into well B. Now I'm going to use the opposite unused ends of the toothpick to stir the wells. Again, making sure to use the blue for well A and stirring for 30 seconds. Now I'll use the end of the yellow toothpick for well B, again stirring for about 30 seconds. Notice in both of these wells, nothing has happened. The blood sample does not contain A or B antigens. That tells us that this sample is from someone whose blood is in the O blood group. Now you're ready to perform this test all by yourself. 